Hello everybody, my name is Kirk with Game Goblin and I'm going to show you how to make custom dice in Tabletop Simulator. You can put your own custom artwork onto six different polyhedral dice, ranging from four to twenty sided. I'm going to show you two today, one for a six sided die and one for an eight sided die. I'll use both Photoshop and Illustrator, but you can use any graphics program that you are comfortable with and just apply what you learn here. First, you need templates and luckily enough those are already on your computer if you have Tabletop Simulator loaded. Just go to your main drive, in my case the C drive, and find the Program Files x86 folder. Open it and scroll down to your Steam folder, then look for Steam Apps, Common, Tabletop Simulator, and there you'll find a modding folder. There should be a Dice Templates folder. Open it and check out the six dice templates. All my favorite dice are there. Now copy them and paste them into the folder you'll be working from. We'll start with a D6 and size up the template using Photoshop. Remember you can do the same thing in another program like GIMP if you like. I'll select the D6 PNG and open it with Photoshop. I'm going to start by figuring out the size of each square side. I'll zoom in on the two and grab the rectangle tool and draw a square about the same size. My roughed in square is 641 by 636 so I'm going to make a call and adjust those sides to 640 by 640. Go ahead and delete that square as we just used it to get a measurement. I'm going to open a new Photoshop file to build my artwork in and make it 648 by 648 to make sure my artwork will cover the full side of the die. I'll add a new layer and fill it with green for the background color. Then I'll make six more layers for the number graphics. This die is going to be a plus one plus one counter die used in some card games. Let's fast forward a bit to my finished layers. I finished laying out the graphics the way I want, adjusting the size and colors to my liking. Now I'm going to add a bit of texture and shadow to make it pop. In my opinion, artwork that is too clean often stands out and looks unfinished for most final products, but you can make your graphics any way you choose. I've added a fiber texture layer over the green and used multiply and opacity to give it a bit of a cloth texture. For the text, I like a black outer glow to make the yellow pop off the green. Outer Glow defaults to a light color using screen, so I'm changing it to black with Multiply. Then I'll copy paste the layer style to the other text layers. From here, to get the art over to the template file, I'll temporarily merge each text layer with the green layer so I can select all and copy that art to paste into the other file. Repeat this for each side of the die and put them into the template. Note that I forgot to turn the 6 over 180 degrees like I did the 1 so that it would orient correctly on the final die. It's not a deal breaker, but it's something I would go back and fix for a final game product. For the last step, I found it's best to take your background color and fill the whole template background with it. This will make cleaner edges on your die, and I'll show you why when we get it into Tabletop Simulator. Finally, save your Photoshop work file, then use Export, Quick Export as PNG, and save the PNG to your folder that you will upload to Tabletop Simulator later. Now, let's build an 8-sided die in Illustrator. We'll use the same principles we used in Photoshop, which can be used in any graphics program that you're comfortable with. I'll start with a new project and make the artboard 2048 by 2048 and then use File and Place to place the D8 PNG. I'll align the PNG to the center of my artboard and lock that layer to work over. I'll make a new layer and change the rectangle tool to the polygon tool and click the canvas to open the settings. I'll make a three-sided triangle and I'm guessing a 400 point size should be close enough to fit. I can always adjust the triangle size after it's in place. Trying something a little bit different than I did with the Photoshop file, I'm going to build these triangles and the art all in the template file. I'll change the triangle to a sand color, duplicate it seven times, moving each one into place. I have some gems already built and saved as symbols to place on these die faces. I'll place them on a new layer to keep them separate from the background for easy adjustments later. This could be a die that produces gems as a resource when you roll it. I want to correlate the value and gems that you get with the traditional values of the die, so I'll turn the triangles layer off and place the gems as I see fit. From here, you can add some texture and shadowing like I did in Photoshop within Illustrator and then export your PNG, or you can export a 72 DPI Photoshop file and do the texturing and adjustments there like I did with the D6. Since this is more of a personal creative choice, let's move on to bringing those PNGs into Tabletop Simulator and building those dice. Here are the two templates we've converted with our own art. The size of each is still 2048 by 2048 and they are ready to import. With Tabletop Simulator open, go to Objects, Components, Custom, and grab a blank die and drop it on the table. We'll do the D6 first, so choose that for type and click the folder to import our D6.png with custom art. Navigate to your PNG in its folder and hit select. When introducing new art to Tabletop Simulator, be sure to choose Cloud and upload it there. It may take some time to upload, but once it's ready, hit import and your blank die should now have your artwork. Remember that you can hover over your new die and use the plus and minus keys to scale it up or down to your desired size. As a counter die, you can hover over it and use the number keys 1 through 6 to set it to the side you need. 
And now you can see the mistake I made with the plus six plus six side. Since I forgot to turn it over to match the template, it looks upside down. This is okay for a die that you're rolling, but I should fix this one. Here's an example of why you want to fill in the whole background of the template. The die on the right is an old one I made where I didn't fill in the whole background color. You can see the white on the edges that aren't filled with green. Now let's make an eight-sided die. Go to Objects, Components, Custom, and grab another blank die to drop on the table. This time, choose D8 and place your eight-sided die image. Be sure to upload it to the cloud. Hit Import, and when it's done, go ahead and scale it up using the plus key. Now you're literally ready to roll. Use the R key to roll your new die. The more side you get, the harder it may be to read which side is up in Tabletop Simulator without moving the camera. So use the Alt key to show you the face-up side from any angle. And there you go, our custom dice are ready to be added to your game design. Before I go, here's one last little tip about using images you've already loaded to the cloud. Let's say you've accidentally deleted your custom piece and forgot to save it in your mod update. You don't have to re-upload the image. You can access it from the cloud by going to Modding and Cloud Manager. There you can see all the images you've ever uploaded. Simply click the image you want and it will copy the link to your clipboard. Now instead of uploading the image again, you can simply paste that link into the image field and hit import. Once again, you're ready to roll. Thanks for watching. Please hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials related to game design or more about my games. If you have any questions, comment here or hit me up on Discord, Facebook, or Twitter. You can find links for all of those and the latest news on GameGoblin.com. Thanks for playing!